All right, guys, welcome back. This is Scott Miller, and you're at Music in Motion. Welcome back. Uh, in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap up our part two on our electronics for Project Elevation, our 2022 GMC Sierra, also our Music in Motion demo vehicle. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll cover the RGB lighting in this one. We have some headrest monitors going in it. We have a streamer coming from RDV Automotive Tech, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Rich has some killer products, but uh, without further ado, let's get into the video and we'll walk you through. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel again. Again, I'm your host, Scott Miller. Uh, in Project Elevation today, we're gonna be doing part two of our electronics. So specifically what we're gonna get into is we're gonna be doing a full RGB undercar kit, uh, lighting kit. So we have some LED strip that's gonna be going under there as well as a control module. What's really cool about our control module for this application is we're gonna be, we're gonna be integrating the turn signals for the left and the right side of the vehicle, stop lights, and potentially the reverse lights on the underbody kit. So it'll kind of function multi-purpose, right? We'll have all the aspects of the, the car show, the breathing, strobing, all the come look at me lights. And then uh, we'll also have some functionality aspects behind it for the turn signals, the stop and reverse. Uh, outside of the underbody kit, we're gonna be doing a headrest package today. I can actually show you that one. So we have a headrest package here that we got for the vehicle. We were thinking with our demo vehicle, how cool would it be if we were able to put some screens in the back just for some rear seat entertainment, but link it into the factory screen. So, see if I can get these open here for you. I'll show you what we got. Let's get you guys set up. All right, so, I'll show you what we got. So this is a factory matched headrest for this vehicle. Um, same material, same stitching integrates an eight inch screen in the back. So again, we'll just get some, this is a traditional video kit, right? So we're gonna have DVD back here. We have some streaming options, HDMI's, thing like that. Obviously we're familiar with the factory headrest on here. So let's see if we can get this guy to turn. Again, just normal headrest, but you can see materials match. And how cool is it gonna be to have a screen back there? So we got that situated, but then we found this piece here uh, from our buddy Rich over at RDV Automotive Tech. Uh, this is what he calls his streamer. So this piece is gonna go in, uh, this actually integrates into the factory screen. What it does is it gives us streaming capabilities, right? So we link this up to, it's got spot for SIM card. So if you go get a SIM card from your service provider, this has Wi-Fi capability. And then what we'll do is without having to connect to a hotspot, that'll give us a full, basically Android platform that we can get into the vehicle so we can stream things like YouTube videos from Music in Motion so we can watch the entire build process on Project Elevation. Call me crazy, but I think that'd be pretty legit. So with that, we're gonna, for demo purposes, get this thing all set up, you know? So without further ado, we're gonna get set up under the vehicle first. We are gonna do the undercar lighting because I think it's really cool. And then the integration on the lighting should be really cool with the stop, turn, reverse. And uh, yeah, after that, we'll get into the headrest package and we'll wrap up Project Elevation here. So let's go ahead and get running.
All right, coming out of the time lapse, uh, let's keep it moving. We got the hard part is done. So we got all the lights hung under the truck. So at this point, what we're gonna go ahead and do, we did test them, we test the strips as we go through, just heaven forbid, right? It's um, one of those things. So at this point, we're gonna go through and we're actually gonna build some harnesses. So we're gonna take a primary wire under the truck, we're gonna measure our lengths with where we're gonna route our cable and build some harnesses. So at that point, the entire system under there will be a plug and play, you know? So we try to treat everything like a factory environment. So lights could come down if necessary, but where they need to be more permanent, they are. And uh, again, yeah, so we're gonna build some harnesses, get these things wired up, and then it's time to have some fun with them. So let's get back into it. So here we go, let's show you what we got. We got, first thing we did was we got the fender liners removed from the truck. That gave us access to all the factory wiring harnesses and all, it's gonna be the best for us to route all of our cables between all the lights. Uh, after that, we have our module prepped out here. Uh, we did some testing with it as we got the strips hung. And then hard part's done. All the lights are hung at this point. So now what we did is we basically went on there and fished out what are gonna be our cable lengths. And we built some harnesses. So harnesses, all the connections are done inside of a dressing. Uh, and then the connectors will actually get packed in dielectric grease. Up in these harsh climates, I mean, we're up in North Michigan, so we get a lot of snow, believe it or not. And um, we just have to make sure everything's insulated correctly. Again, it's gonna be external on the truck. So outside of that, th now the easy part. So we're gonna go to the vehicle, we're gonna connect our strips, uh, we're gonna route the cables, get everything secured, get the fender liners put back in, and should be able to play with some more in the engine compartment and play with some lights. So uh, let's go ahead back into super fast YouTube mode. Let's get her lit up. Happens all day 621. <laughs> I don't know. Wilson and I are still on this island. Um, here's our headline. So we've got about. Actually, you know what? Wilson! Wilson! Get the lights! Thanks, buddy. Okay. So, um, yeah, this is what we got so far. Over. We're gonna run a second, like, see some of our spots. Okay. 
All right, guys. And on the seventh day, they said, let there be lights. So let's show you what we got here. This thing is lit up, man. So we still have some little things to do. We still have our integration to do for our stop turn reverse. And we've just got it on just kind of a color changing. This is our dazzle pattern. So if you watched our K5 Blazer video, we touched on the lighting module that we used. And uh, we talk about some of the patterns that the thing has preset, which is really cool. But man, this thing is lit, dude. So this isn't even on the truck's power yet. I've got these running off little 12 volt drill batteries. Uh, so you can only imagine what it's gonna do, but super, super cool. So we are gonna light up the engine bay in this as well. So right now that's kind of where we're at. So all of our, it's gonna daisy chain. Our module mounts in the engine compartment up towards the firewall. And that's where our engine bay lights are gonna tie in. Then once we get our integration done on these, we'll actually do some, We'll do some programming on the lights. They are addressable, so we are able to do things with them. We can program every individual LED on this kit if we wanted to. It's just, just tedious and time consuming. But uh, yeah, so that's where we're at. Um, so to wrap this part up, we still have a little more to go, but we're gonna go ahead. The next step is gonna be the engine bay lighting. Uh, once we get the engine bay lighting taken care of, move on with the other accessories. I'm pretty sure the next accessory we're gonna dive into is gonna be the headrest. So um, headrest video will be pretty cool. And that's gonna be it for our accessories. I think we have a little switch panel to do, but I'm not super certain yet. I'm, un I'm unsure where the controller for the power supply is gonna go yet. So we might build a little display in the back behind one of the seat openings, or we might move it to the center console. So right now, just kind of up in the air. So we're gonna kind of address it once we get there. But outside of that, let's go ahead and get back into super fast YouTube mode get the engine bay wrapped up, and then we'll do a once over on that. Once we do a once over on that, we'll move into these headrest TVs. Oh, and I'm sorry, forgive me, our streamer plus from RDV. So that's the other piece we're gonna address with the headrest. So once we get the video aspects going, we'll cover every piece for you. So let's go ahead and dive back in. Uh, I couldn't help but stop to show you. These lights are too cool, man. So uh, questions about the kits, anything like that. I know I forget to include this all the time, but if you guys have questions about how we're doing this stuff, how we mounted it, just anything, man. You know, we're here for you guys. So. You can like the video if you're liking what we're putting out. Drop some comments in there if you have questions about the installation as we go through it. We're happy to answer them. And other than that, I'll plug. Make sure we're hitting that subscribe button, notifications turned on, and stay with all of our video content. So, like I said, plenty more cool stuff like this to go. So, yep, let's dive back in. I'm ready to get into the headrest. So let's get the engine bay wrapped up and keep on moving. little time lapse all the lights in the engine bay are done that we were talking about we did kind of wiggle our nose jump forward a little bit um, headrest TVs are done and all the other goodies so let's give you a final walk through and we'll wrap this video up here uh, we're gonna open that door up just a little because we're gonna start the truck here but let's go ahead and show you what we did on the inside here so obviously we just gave you the walkthrough on all the lighting uh, kind of touched on that for you let's get this guy started all right in the meantime we're going to close the hood let everything get started up here so first thing we'll show you guys is the streamer plus uh the streamer plus is pretty cool we integrated this front screen uh, what's really neat about it is it's all seamless obviously and if we go to let's go to let's see i'm sorry apple carplay oops sorry selected the wrong one there let's 
So we're gonna let this thing go ahead and get connected here. Um, pretty legit, uh, <laughs> it's quicker than I thought. So when we come in here, this is how we integrate the screen. So I mean, anything we want here, we've got nav options, we have some CarPlay options because we can run CarPlay through this box. Uh, this is basically an Android platform that we get from RDV Automotive Technologies. And it basically unlocks the screen. So what we can do in here is, you want to watch music and motion videos on YouTube? You can come in here and watch YouTube. I mean, it's a full browser, it's full full Android system basically. So, I mean, if you subscribe to YouTube TV, not that I condone watching TV while you're driving, but I mean, you watch whatever you want real time. So. Beyond that, while well, that's coming up there, I might not be connected to Wi-Fi right now. The box is pretty neat, man. It's got a um, Wi-Fi capability. So we do have it linked to the Wi-Fi in the truck, the hotspot. And then, let's see. Also integrated these back screens here. So let's get these booted up here. So basically we got some headrest video here so when we are watching music in motion YouTube videos on the 2022 GM Sierra <laughs> project elevation build here um, now our passengers can watch as well with the Rolls-Royce inspired starlet headliner all the courtesy lighting I mean just really really cool stuff man so uh, outside of that let's get this one buttoned up for you guys I mean that's the gist of it here so Let's go ahead and shut this off so but yeah real cool stuff man so that box i mean it's not just youtube man any anything man you want netflix you want hulu i mean anything you can do man it's it's on there so it's pretty cool stuff so this video again we talked about this was electronics phase two part two sub addendum two, whatever you want to call it but this was the second phase of our electronics is what i'll deem it for project elevation here uh, also, our last video on Project Elevation for, for now. So, system's a jam. The accessories were such a nice compliment. Uh, we're going to wrap it up. So, again, you guys know the deal. Make sure you're subscribing, not to miss any videos from us with notifications turned on. Feel free to drop some likes, comments, anything you'd like on the video. We're happy to oblige. And until then, we'll see you guys on the next one.